Hi folks, welcome to this next brief video on the MLS project. And in a previous video, I have shown you that MLS is working towards supporting uh, the drone cam. And uh, this was using this MATIC receiver module. And it's pretty convenient for this purpose because a nice thing about this module is that all the MCU pins, which are not used for the primary purposes here, are broken out either here or, sorry for that, or you can find them on the bottom as solder pads. So this module is really very nice for tinkering and do-it-yourself projects and so on and so forth, right? And this made it possible to convert this module to CAN bus. And this is so because the USB pads are also broken out and these USB pads give access to the CAN peripheral in the MCU. And this was uh, used here in this previous setup, which you have seen in the previous video, which looks pretty ugly, right? And uh, the disadvantage of the whole thing is that in order to use the CAN bus, you need to connect a CAN transceiver to this uh, pins, right? Otherwise, uh, this CAN bus wouldn't work. And uh, so that's a bit uh, nasty, right? And the second uh, inconvenient thing is that when you connect the CAN bus to this USB pads, then the USB doesn't work anymore. And this includes upgrading the firmware via USB. That is this uh, convenient method of upgrading the firmware via this USB flat port does not work anymore. And this uh, made me thinking and made me designing such a carrier board here. And this carrier board has here a nice plug, has here the CAN transceiver and some little additional electronics, which makes, makes it possible when you can still upgrade the firmware via USB. And it's intended to be used like so, so that you put it here and then you solder the whole things together, right? And uh, at first, the soldering might not uh, look so easy because what you need to do is you need to solder from the back and then the solder has to flow through these holes in order to make connection to these pads here. And at first you might think that, uh, well, that's not working so well, but actually it's working much better than you might think, right? All you need to do is to put here your solder into this hole and then just to apply the heat for long enough. Then the solder will flow to the other side will make contact with this solder pad and it's, it's really not so difficult as it looks like. So this works much better than I thought actually, right? So and once you have done that, you get here such a device here, which I can show you here, right? It's then here the result. So this uh, MATIC module is soldered here now through this uh, back uh, to to this carrier board and it's nicely working and you can see that the setup now is much much uh, simplified uh, but it's much much cleaner now here you just have the CAN wires going to the uh, flight controller and of course you need some power cables uh, which are these cables and that's when everything you need and of course um, uh, the drone can just support works like before right so I don't want to show you this in this video and the nice thing is that also this usual upgrading method via USB works. That is, you press the button, connect, uh, you have to depower, right? Remove the power, um, press the button, connect the USB port, and then you can flash the firmware as before. Yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. Have fun. See you next time.